First of all, if I listened to my wife, it wouldn't have been no infamous moment. First lesson. That's, That's the first for lesson. start. Lesson number one. <laughs> That's number one. But here's what happened. Before he got sworn in, he had appointed Ben Carson to the head of HUD. And HUD is housing and urban development. It's the only black on the cabinet. So I said, let me go up there and meet Ben Carson. So when I got to Trump Towers, I went in, sat down to meet with him, and he said, why are you here? I said, I want to meet Ben Carson, because I have an idea. He got Ben Carson on the phone. Me and Ben Carson talked right away. I told him the idea I had. I wanted to take some of these schools that they had destroyed and shut down in black neighborhoods, and I wanted to take them and turn them into what I call vision centers, where we would create financial literacy, after-school programs, you know, and get these young cats off the street so they have something to do, and then give the parents some financial literacy. He fell in love with the idea. I leave the building, I'm on the elevator, Donald Trump say, I'll ride down with you. I said, I'll be down. <laughs> so he gets on the elevator, he riding down with him. Now, before I got on the elevator, I told the reporters, I'll be back over and tell you why I'm here. I walk up to the reporters, he walks in front of me. He the president to be, right? So he walks in front of me, now I'm standing there. First word out his mouth was, we gonna repeal and replace Obamacare. I, I didn't say shit about that. <laughs> I, I didn't mention none of that. Oh, what you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there going, I'll be damned. And all I heard was my wife going, don't go up there yet. So when he left, I stood up and told the reporters what the deal was. By the time I got to my car, because this happened on my 60th birthday was that weekend. My wife had a nice trip for me. All I had to do was go get on that damn boat, like she said. <laughs> That's all my ass had to do. But oh no, I'm gonna go up here for black people. Before I got in the car, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it, man. I was a coon, I was a jigaboo, I was a spook, I was an Uncle Tom. And, and, and that shit hurt me to the core because all I do when I wake up is walk out the door as a black man to represent the black culture, to be something that some young person can look at and go, yeah, I'll do it that way. My whole hustle and grind has been for black people. And so it kind of hurt me, man, 